It's gonna take Cracker Jack timing, Wang. Total concentration. You ready, Jack? I was born ready. Welcome to today's comic news video. Originally, I was gonna cover some odds and ends concerning Marvel Comics, along with the recent Brian Woods controversy. But on second thought, I really don't want to talk about the allegations against Woods. There just aren't enough details, and I have no knowledge of the situation. So I'm passing on that and cutting the Marvel Comics fat. I'm just going to talk about the recent teasers for Marvel Comics December incoming event. I don't have many details on that subject either, but speculating about upcoming events is actually fun. It's time for my breakdown of Marvel Comics December incoming event news. In late August, ComicBook.com reported, after big presence from Marvel Studios during the Disney Plus and Walt Disney Studios panels, Marvel editors C.B. Cebulski and Tom Brevoort took the stage for a retrospective through the last eight years of Marvel. To cap everything off, the pair teased a pretty massive event come December called Incoming. A post on the Marvel website suggests it's going to change the future of comics. Alright, I didn't think much of it at the time because there was a lot of other big stories and there were virtually no details. And to be honest, I didn't even realize this was the previously untitled December Marvel event. Newsarama.com quickly identified who they thought the character in the silhouette was when they reported. Over the weekend, Marvel Comics teased the future of Marvel Comics with the silhouetted image of a figure holding a sword. That distinct silhouette, while still officially unidentified, points to a specific figure in Marvel lore, Teddy Altman, aka Hulkling, of the Young and New Avengers. Specifically, that figure looks a lot like Hulkling's semi-armored battle form holding the sword he obtained in 2015's all-new, all-different volume of New Avengers. And then there's the kicker, the caption on the teaser, which reads, One will unite them all. Alright, originally I wasn't on board Newsrama's theory about Hulkling being the one to unite them and be the central figure that changes the future of comics, as C.B. Cebulski put it. After thinking about it, it kind of makes sense. Not because the character is important, because he's not, but because the other teasers that have been released, one of which features the Eternity Mask that writer Al Ewing introduced to the Marvel Universe in the pages of Marvel Comics 1000. Al Ewing was the writer on the 2015 New Avengers series that prominently features shapeshifter Teddy Altman, aka Hulkling. Why would anyone want to remind readers of that dreadful incarnation of the New Avengers is beyond me or anyone with the lick of sense. But there's a chance Ewing himself has some level of affinity for the character and team. So, despite my initial thoughts of BS on Hulkling being the one to unite them, I'm going to say this is likely correct. And I'll get more into my reasoning when I talk about the Eternity Mask teaser and Al Ewing in a few moments. But first, the following reports on the teaser images all come from CBR.com. The Marvel Universe is about to have a murder mystery on its hands. In a cryptic new teaser, the original Fantastic Four and several Avengers are gathered in a morgue. A body lies on the table before them. However, a white sheet covers the person's face and most of their body, keeping their identity a mystery. The text at the bottom of the image asks, Can you solve the puzzle before the heroes of the Marvel Universe? Under the tagline, the teaser boasts a large logo that cries, Incoming. This really sets the course of what you'll see in the Marvel Universe in the years to come, Marvel Comics Editor-in-Chief C.B. Cebulski said of the August teaser. The new teaser offers a few more clues. For one, it shows recognizable characters like Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, The Human Torch, The Thing, Iron Man, Valkyrie, Captain Marvel, and Black Panther. Further, it suggests that this is just another piece in a larger puzzle. Although DC Comics' recent Heroes in Crisis soured me on superhero murder mysteries, I must admit this kind of looks cool. I really like the Fantastic Four and I don't really get to read them much these days because they're being drowned in an ocean of Dan Slott's mediocrity. In fact, I don't read any of the characters in this teaser for a variety of reasons, but mostly it's toxic creators like Slott, Mark Wade, and Ta-Nehisi Coates. I was reading Jason Aaron's Avengers, but the quality fell off a cliff leading up to the War of the Realms event, and I have no plans on returning. I don't think Marvel would ask Aaron to lead another event this soon after War of the Realms, which wasn't the big hit they were expecting. Wade is already writing the History of the Marvel Universe special, and there's no way Slaughter Coates can handle an event right now. So I don't think any of the current writers associated with these characters is leading the incoming event. 
And that's a great thing, because I probably won't consider reading it if any of them are associated with it. But a Marvel Comics murder mystery not led by any of the aforementioned hacks certainly has me intrigued at this point. But there's more. In a cryptic new teaser, Marvel Comics offers the readers a glimpse of eternity. The latest teaser is framed around a body which appears to be a chalk outline with some graffiti reading Two-Faced and a warped hollow star. Jessica Jones and a black masked daredevil appear on either side of the body. Below the masked rider, wearing his eternity mask, takes aim at an as-yet-unseen assailant. The Eternity Mask, an ancient relic that gives its wearer theoretically unlimited power, was reintroduced in Marvel Comics 1000. After being used in several historical uprisings like the American Revolution, the Dark Mask has been worn by several surprising heroes with deep ties to Marvel's eight-decade history. The Mask Rider is one of Marvel's oldest heroes in more ways than one. Created by Al Anders, this cowboy hero debuted alongside the original Human Torch in 1939's Marvel Comics No. 1. Wearing a mask that covered his head, Jim Garley protected the poor and the oppressed in the Wild West from the 1840s until 1880. The death of this long-forgotten hero is revealed in Marvel Comics 1000, in which Dr. Matthew Masters, who takes up the mask and becomes the Black Rider, tends to his wounds from a gunfight. In the final pages of Marvel Comics 1000, a seemingly new character called the Masked Rider is introduced as the Eternity Mask current owner. While the Masked Rider's identity is unknown, they have a cowboy hat, two revolvers, and a domino mask that all seemingly reference Marvel's Western heroes. First observation, I think Marvel is way overplaying their hand in regards to the Eternity Mask. Marvel Comics 1000 is a flop in terms of quality and reception. Very few people are going to want to crack that book open again and reread anything related to the Eternity Mask. And the way it was introduced was completely random throughout the book and quite frankly stupid. What was meant to be impactful moving forward likely doesn't mean much of anything to most readers and that's a big misstep on Marvel's part. But I don't see Marvel having Al Ewing create the Eternity Mask gimmick and then immediately hand it over to another writer. He's likely the only writer at Marvel who knows, or even cares if we're being honest, about the full purpose of the Eternity Mask. Plus, this promo's tagline, A Glimpse of Eternity, clearly indicates the Eternity Mask plays a central role in the event. That, along with Hulkling likely being the one to unite them, makes Al Ewing a prime candidate to write the incoming event. Marvel never really expected the momentum Ewing's Immortal Hulk has at this point, Ewing isn't exactly drowning in Marvel work right now. He most likely can handle leading an event no problem. Of course, if I were Marvel, I would have him leading a Hulk event. But the Eternity Mask is just as hot, right? But an even more interesting teaser followed. A new image teases key mutants that have featured prominently in Jonathan Hickman's House of X and Powers of Ten will play a role. The image shows Professor Charles Xavier, Eric Lynch, or Magneto, and N. Sabanur Apocalypse together on a puzzle piece. Professor X holds a flower resembling those he's turned into designer drugs as leverage to get other nations to legitimize the mutination of Krakoa. It's unclear at this point just how incoming might connect the House of X and Powers of Ten, which are still ongoing, but will have concluded by the time the event rolls around later this year. I'll say this now. There's absolutely no way Jonathan Hickman has time to lead an event series now. He's launching the first wave of Dawn of X books in October and November, and there's a second wave following. The tagline, A Deadly Alliance, indicates Charles, Apocalypse, and Magneto are in cahoots during the story. I don't think they'll be the villains, but they very well could be wild cards. This version of X-Men being in this event piques my interest quite a bit, even if Hickman isn't involved. The thing I find most interesting is this appears to be in the versions of the characters during Mortar X's 10th lifetime. I personally believe the Dawn of X series will occur during her 10th life, but a large contingent of X-Men readers think she will move on to her 11th life before the new X-Men books debut. Is this concrete evidence that won't happen? No, definitely not. But it certainly makes me feel better about my prediction about the time frame not resetting before Dawn of X. And just today, the lamest teaser yet dropped. The champions have just been drawn into Marvel's upcoming, incoming event. In a new teaser, the team, including Miss Marvel, Spider-Man, Nova, 
Ironheart, Viv Vision, and Braun is gathered around a television screen, which shows a man in the suit speaking at a podium. Each character looks taken aback or angry, suggesting the man is a bearer of bad news for them. The teaser text at the top of the image warns a Titanic division. Considering the word Titanic, the teaser seems to suggest something connecting to the Titans, that is, citizens of Saturn's moon Titan. Some of Marvel's most famous Titans include Thanos and Star Fox, though neither have been confirmed to participate in the event. Okay, adding the champions to the mix does nothing for me personally. They are a fifth-rate Teen Titans knockoff that just had their series canceled at issue 10. The best news is there's absolutely no way Milk Toast Jim's Up is leading an event series after crashing and burning so hard. The champions didn't even make it a full year before being canceled. By far the most interesting thing of note with this image is the tagline, A Titanic Division, likely indicating the inclusion of Marvel's cosmic sector on the moon of Titan. Does a Titanic division indicate a possible civil war on Titan makes its way to Earth, or perhaps even a group of Titans will come to side with Earth's heroes in opposition to their own brethren? Who knows, but that's much more interesting than the champion's inclusion. Another thing to consider is, Marvel already has an ongoing cosmic event, Annihilation Scourge, in December. It includes many of Marvel's cosmic heroes and likely settings. So far, the only cosmic character featured on the incoming promo material is Captain Marvel because she's an Avenger. Despite likely containing cosmic beings, I expect the setting of incoming to be Earthbound. With so little information, it's hard to speculate at this point, but here goes. Incoming will be led by Eternity Mass creator Al Ewing due to it and Hulkling's inclusion in the promotional material. Incoming revolves around the murder of 3D Man by a gang of rogue titans. Charles and his mutant nation are framed for 3D's murder before a merry band of titans arrive, proving the X-Men's innocence in a dramatic court hearing similar to the famous scene in A Few Good Men. Hulkling unites the entire Marvel Comics universe in opposition of the champions, and they are ultimately exiled to the forest mood of Endor. That is the story arc behind Incoming. You can take it to the bank and cash it. Trust me. That does it, folks. Marvel is slowly rolling out cryptic teasers for their December incoming event. It looks to be enormous in scope, including the Avengers, Fantastic Four, X-Men, Defenders, Champions, the Eternity Mask, and likely beings from Titan. With the details available, I'm most certainly interested in the event. Once specifics emerge regarding the amount of premium priced issues, fake number ones, and predatory ordering schemes, that will likely change. But the devil is always in the details, and they aren't available yet. If you have any theories of your own, please place them in the comments section. Thank you so much for joining me for my breakdown of Marvel Comics December Incoming Event News. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.